Meantime, uh, some new questions for Boeing this morning. This after the Indonesian 737 jetliner crashed shortly after takeoff. I want to get straight over to Phil LeBeau, who's got that story. Phil. Andrew, right now, investigators in the Java Sea are trying to retrieve the black box and cockpit voice recorder. Let me show you what happened when this Sriwa Jaya 737-500 took off on Saturday. It took off at 2.36 in the afternoon, was just four minutes into its flight when it went down. And it went down very quick, losing 10,000 feet in altitude in basically a minute. And that's where investigators right now, they're in the water. 62 people were killed in this 737 crash off the coast of Indonesia. Investigators, again, they have located where they believe the black box is at, where the cockpit voice recorder is at, but so far they have not yet retrieved them. Let's talk a little bit about this Sri Wijaya 737-500. It was 26 years old. Approximately 100 of these types of planes are still flying, and they're primarily with smaller airlines overseas, but 100 of these are still in the air. It has a strong safety record. As you take a look at shares of Boeing, Keep in mind that Boeing, as it always does, whenever there is a crash of one of their planes or Airbus does the same thing, they assist the investigators. And they're very early in the investigation, but they'll be working with them, looking at the safety record uh, of this plane, any potential issues that might pop up. And then there are also going to be shares of GE that people will be focusing on today. Why GE? Because as part of its joint venture with Saffron out of France, the CFM 56-3 engines. Those were the engines that were on this plane, powering this plane. Again, guys, more questions than answers at this point. And, and the key here is how quickly can they recover the black box and the cockpit voice recorder? That will hold a lot of answers in terms of what happened at the very end. Um, Phil, you know... <laughs> Does this have any real impact? I hate to say this. It sounds terrible to say this. Will it have a real impact, right. you think, on Boeing or not? Well, the stock is down, what, 2% today? Anytime you have an airplane crash, all of the aviation stocks take some type of a hit. The question is whether right. or not it's long-term. And for that, you need answers from the crash investigation. Remember what happened with the downed 737 uh, in Iran? Immediately afterwards, people started saying, oh, yeah, people on the ground, they heard things, and maybe there were mechanical issues. And it didn't take long for people to say, well, hold on a second. Let's see what answers come out from the investigation. And I know that's not the answer people want to have right away, but it's so early, Andrew, that it's hard to know whether or not this is something bigger or if there was an isolated incident separate from anything mechanical related to the plane or the engines that brought this aircraft down. Right. Phil Lebeau, uh, always uh, good to see you, and thank you for, uh, for helping us uh, understand this better. Appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.